The Massachusetts Department of Fire Services is letting people know to leave the fireworks to the professionals. 22 News reporter Heath Cobb is live in the studio with the legality of fireworks, with why they can be so dangerous to people and hazardous to communities too. Ciara, every single year people are hurt and property is destroyed by illegal fireworks in the Bay State. Much of that damage is done right around July 4th. Under Massachusetts state law, it is illegal to use, possess, or sell fireworks. It is also illegal to buy them elsewhere and bring them into the state. But despite this, in the past 10 years, the Commonwealth has endured nearly 1,000 fires and explosions, dozens of severe injuries, and about $2.5 million in property damage caused by illegal fireworks. We have had fires in the past that have been caused by fireworks, whether it be due to dried vegetation, or we've had, for an example, we've had bottle rockets land in gutters that have been not cleaned and had dry vegetation with leaves in there and start fires that way or in between houses or just also start structured fires in general. And as this problem persists throughout the state, this time of year is when fire departments are most on the lookout. Last year, Massachusetts fire departments reported 106 fires and explosions attributed to fireworks and more than half of these incidents took place in the week of July 4th. Not only do fireworks pose a fire threat, but they can also be extremely dangerous to pedestrians. There's a lot of injuries that are reported every year throughout the 4th of July. The target range being 10 to 15 year olds are the ones that are injured most, and they're usually extremity or eye injuries up to uh, burns, and also amputations of fingers and extremities. They're just they're very dangerous for consumers to use. They should leave it to the professionals. Even though they are illegal here, we don't have to miss out on all the fun. The Department of Fire Services posts a list of permitted municipal fireworks displays, and you can find that list on our website at WWLP.com. Working for you live in the studio, I'm Heath Kalb, 22 News.